Saints of the Making, yesterday we talked about the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary and about praying the Rosary. Today, I'd like to talk about not simply the importance of praying it, but how to pray it practically. I think oftentimes the Rosary might seem very daunting to many people who feel like they don't have a sufficient amount of time. It's a lot, isn't it? 50 Hail Marys plus the three at the very beginning, six Our Fathers, six Glory Be to the Fathers, Apostles' Creed, you know, the prayer of St. Michael at the end, the Hail Holy Queen, all those prayers at once. How in the world can I have time to pray a rosary? My friends in Christ, there's no hard and fast rule that says you have to pray the rosary in a single sitting. If you feel in your family that you do not have sufficient time for everyone to sit down for 15 minutes or 20 minutes to pray the rosary, I'd like to encourage you then. Take a part of the rosary as a family every day and pray that. So the first day, Monday. You pray the Son of the Cross. You pray the Apostles' Creed, the Our Father. You pray three Hail Marys, and you play, pray the glory be to the Father. That's your first part, and you're done for that day. Tuesday. You pray the first mystery, whether it's joyful, sorrowful, luminous, or glorious. You pray that first mystery, one Our Father, Ten Hail Marys, a glory be to the Father. And then the following day, Wednesday, the second mystery, and another decade of the rosary. And so on and so forth throughout the rest of the week, so that by Saturday, you've completed the entire rosary over the span of a week. And Sunday, you go to Mass. Once you draw more closely, to the rosary, you may find that you'd like to do more than just a decade a day. You might like, for example, to do two decades, one in the morning and one in the evening, or whatever it fits your schedule. You can do that. You could also take the rosary, and you can pray it at specific points in time of the day. You wake up. First thing you do, you grab your rosary. You begin that very beginning part. Sound of the Cross, the Apostles' Creed, Our Father, Three Hail Marys, and the Glory Be to the Father. And then maybe mid-morning, another decade, a decade of the Rosary, with that first mystery. Before lunch, another decade. Midday, third decade, or mid-afternoon, I should say, a third decade. Before dinner, fourth decade. Once the dishes are done and before you relax into your evening, the fifth decade. And then before you're ready to go to bed, the Hail Holy Queen and the final prayers concluding your rosary and the sign of the cross. Throughout the day, you are praying the rosary and making that time. And then before you know it, it doesn't seem like it's been any time at all taking the time to pray the rosary. Saints in the making, let us, you and me, make the time throughout the day and throughout the week to pray the rosary in parts or in whole. The more that we do, the more we'll grow closely to understanding just how very much God loves us to give us his son and to give us a mother who cares for us, and who wants us to draw more dearly, dearly close to her son in prayer and in action. And by doing so, my friends in Christ, you and I will make space for grace.